Costello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Hey, over here in the Weather Center with Michelle, and it's turning out to be a decent day. A real nice day. This is the, the pick of the week in yeah. terms of not only sunshine, but also the mildest temperatures we've seen since the first of the year in Providence and in some spots like our, our studio here in East Providence warmest since late December. So live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar along the coastline it's all dry on uh, 95 and 295 looking good as well. Uh, weather headlines again pick of the week. We have some light snow in the forecast for tomorrow followed by another blast of Arctic air for the weekend that's going to send our temperatures right back down with highs only in the 20s. We'll talk all about that, but City Cam this, uh, this afternoon, look at the abundant blue skies. It's 37 right now, right on average for January the 7th, where we should be. Wind chill at 28, with a little bit of a breezy wind out of the northwest at 15. And again, here's that Almanac 37, the average high, 21 the low, and the sun setting now after 430. We're at 36, East Bay Manor in East Providence, 35, Sakana Bay Manor in Tiverton, and in the mid-30s in Cumberland, as well as Coventry from Horizon Bay Manor. As we widen out the view, here's satellite and radar. Still our spinning area of low pressure. This is the one that's been hanging around all week long, just reinforcing that northwest flow of air and kept us, helped to keep us storm-free. Uh, meanwhile, the bigger picture here shows that we have snow working its way across the country from a quick-moving weather system. System. It is dumping several inches of snow over portions of the Midwest, and behind it, it's pooling down very cold air. Coldest of the season for some of the folks out in the north, uh, northern plains. Places like North Dakota right now, air temperatures 25 below, and wind chills, yeah, 25 below, and wind chills close to 50 below. So that air mass is actually going to work its way all the way down into the deep south, places like Florida, uh, Georgia. They're going to be talking about the crop potential damage there. But for us, we just get a little bit of a taste of it. We're not going to be uh, seeing the coldest air of the season here in southern New England, but it will be below average. And you can see where now we're you know, relatively mild compared to the sort of day they're having out across the northern plains and the western Great Lakes. For your Friday, that storm system is going to work its way out over the ocean. It's going to stay far enough away from us, be fast enough moving. It really doesn't intensify until it gets too far south and east. So for us, that means just a minor event here, scattered light snow, snow showers. The timing of it looks to be probably second half of the morning commute into the uh, early to mid-afternoon. For this afternoon, though, it does stay dry, mostly sunny, breezy, and chilly at about 34 to 39 for a high temperature. So uh, warmest day again of the work week, 39 in Westerly, 38 in Coventry, real nice day. Northwest suburbs, we're going to see temperatures above freezing, so we will do some melting today. Lots of sunshine, too, to help out with that. And those northwest breezes at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Mostly sunny across the Cape and Islands, New Bedford at 38, and Fall River close to 40. Overnight tonight, clouds start to roll in ahead of that quick moving system. It's dry most of the night though, with a low of around 21 degrees. By the morning hours, I expect that we'll be tracking some scattered light snow showers to move in. I don't think it'll be a steady all day snow here, but off and on light snow showers. They wrap up Friday afternoon and we only end up with about a dusting to an inch in our area. So not a big event here, but uh, may cause a couple of headaches if you're heading out later in the morning or early afternoon. It's going to be a dry, fluffy snow. Anything that accumulates will be very easy to brush off the car tops right. and off of uh, your driveway and sidewalks. For the weekend, yes. cold temperatures it's a in big the 20s. Weekend. Yeah, big football weekend. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a good weekend to watch it on the television mm -hmm. instead of mm -hmm. sitting in the stands. But if you do have tickets to Gillette, mid-20s at the start of the game, closer to 20 by the fourth quarter. Your updated forecast and live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar 24 hours a day on the Pinpoint Weather Station on Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. Yeah. Listen, I got news for you. If the Patriots win, you'll get this incredible warmth <laughs> all right. through That's your right. body. you got to bring your Patriots Snuggie along. That's <laughs> right. You yeah, right. Thanks, Michelle. Sure. Now